Music has been around for thousands of years. It has been used in tribes across the world. It's played a key in our evolution. And this is because it just spreads positive energy. You will often see tribes dancing, playing music, just having a great time, giving out positive energy in the world. But this is very different in the 20th century. I wonder if you have ever thought the reason you are depressed, anxious, have a lack of motivation, lack of energy could be down to the music you're listening to and how frequently you are listening to it. Me neither until I decided to quit listening to music. Now music is an amazing thing in our society. All listen to music when we when we go clubbing, when we're at bars, when we're at family parties, even at funerals. Music is a huge, huge part of everyday life. This could be anything from hip hop to rap, heavy metal to any type of music. We use it all across the world. But music does cause a lot of issues for people, especially if you overuse it. I found that music was negatively impacting my life. I noticed that listening to music was causing me many 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 symptoms in my life. I would constantly listen to music throughout the day, all the time, whenever I could, in the gym, when I was working, when I was going for walks. And this was because at the start it gave me lots of energy and lots of happiness. But eventually this turned negative and all of these positive impacts no longer worked on me. And this simply came down to the overstimulation of dopamine. Now we all know that dopamine plays a key role in our happiness and our energy levels and even our mental health. I was overstimulated which was causing these negative effects and this is how I knew I needed to make a change and I needed to see what would happen if I quit music. Now in today's video I'm going to explain to you why I quit music for a period of time and how we can use music effectively going forward. Now, the first thing I noticed was that it helped level out my dopamine levels. As I explained in the intro, dopamine plays a key role in how we feel and our happiness and our mental health and all of these physical feel-good hormones, it helps and plays a role in. If we consume too much, we are giving our body way too much dopamine all the time, which causes us to need more and more like an addict to get the stimulation that we did previously. With music, I found that this started to help many of these issues I was dealing with. I no longer had mood issues, my energy levels, my concentration got a lot better. I just had way more desire in life to achieve things. And I simply think this is because my dopamine levels started to rebalance out. Now we all know that the way to rebalance your body is to give your body less and less dopamine and let it rebalance itself out. So I think that quitting music done this for me and then I started to live better place I wasn't overstimulated and I felt a lot better day to day. And this made me enjoy more activities in life that I used to enjoy. Going to the gym, being out in nature, just being present in my own body. And I didn't have this when I was listening to music. I just couldn't concentrate. My mind felt foggy, felt really just not sharp. I felt really clouded in my judgment. This is what music helped me with. I just felt a lot better mentally and I could concentrate so much more because I wasn't getting distracted. Now this brings me on to the next point which is that my energy levels increased massively. Now when we listen to too much music we can get something called sensory overload and this can cause stuff like fatigue, your hearing's not as well, you get headaches, you're just really sensitive to sounds around you and this is where you're just having so much overstimulation and your mind just can't process it all and it starts to give out all of these negative side effects. The reason your body is telling you you're tired and you're getting headaches because this is your body's way of trying to keep you safe. It's saying, this is causing my brain too much stress. Please go and lie down and get away from this stressful situation. If we are constantly doing that all the time, then it's gonna lead to really negative impacts on your life. Your body is feedback. If you are finding that you're listening to music and your ears feel a bit sensitive, you're getting headaches, you're just tired. It's your body saying, stop, this is way too much and you do need to listen. And as soon as you cut back on it, you will start to feel this sensory overload arm down and then you can start to listen to music and you can enjoy it a lot more. The type of music definitely impacts how you feel. I noticed this that if I listen to negative rap music, stuff about girls and rapping and hurting people, it really had a mental impact on my brain and I would feel a lot worse quickly. Now if I was listening to nice positive frequencies like meditation music, like waterfalls, I found that the music energized me and I felt a lot better. My 
mental state felt a lot better. You need to understand that the, the type of music you are listening to impacts how much sensory overload your body will have. If you are finding that you are listening to too much rap and you're getting these issues, you need to cut it out, switch it for something more positive. Now this brings me on to the next step, peace of mind. Quitting music, I have never found more peace in my life. When listening to music about rapping, this causes your mind to just become clogged and you become so unpeaceful. When, you, when I quit music, and I stopped having these negative impacts. When going back to music, you then start to understand that actually this is causing negative feelings, negative emotions in my life. Now music is like films. They completely control your emotions with the beats to the lyrics, how it comes across. It is all controlling your inner state. This is what takes your peace of mind away. It's like mental warfare when you're listening to music. It's just causing so many emotional up and downs. Whether that's listening to a happy song or listening to a sad song we literally use music when you're sad you listen to sad music when you're happy you listen to happy music and this is how it's controlling our emotions i truly believe in life that the key is to keep a consistent basis of emotions so you should never allow your emotions to fluctuate really high you should never allow your emotions to fluctuate really low and i have learned this through monks it really is true because if you are using stuff to control your emotions you're having highs and lows in life this is what is taking your peace of mind away, your energy levels, you don't feel good because you're on this roller coaster of up and downs and this simply comes from your music. The music you are listening to is key and how much you are listening to it. When quitting music, in touch with my body once again. All of these negative emotions I was trying to hide through music, through all of these different genres and listening to this song, I was able to start dealing with it and I was able to actually find peace of mind in this world. And it actually made me realize that we are using music to try to hide our emotions which is one of the worst things you can do one of the keys that humans have lost is the ability to listen to their own intuition we no longer turn to our body for the answers and i'm here to say that your body has all the answers you ever need it's all in here we are so distracted all of these things in life that we have simply lost touch with our own bodies we can regain this by quitting music and that is what i found is that my judgment became so much better and i could trust myself because i wasn't feeding this negative energy into my body i was able to actually understand that i'm feeling this emotion so this is a real emotion this isn't being controlled by anything out of my body that is the positives i learned from quitting music now how can we use music in a positive way way only thing we can really do and not get these negative impacts is to not listen to it too much we are simply listening to music way too much so now throughout the day i give myself certain periods of the day where i can listen to music there is only one time i can listen to music throughout the day and that is in my car i don't spend a lot of time in my car i only really travel to the gym and back kind of like a pre-workout hype i give myself some of that dopamine and i get ready to attack a workout i find that by doing this it doesn't cloud my judgment too much that is only if i want to listen to artists like drake like rappy just stuff that causes a lot of dopamine day to day when i'm working i'm around my desk i only allow myself to not listen to music with any words in it has to be calming nice music that's not going to affect my concentration not going to affect my peace of mind that is the best way i would do it i would say that in life things can be used as moderation but it depends what type of person you are if you're able to moderate your music and you don't get too addicted to it and too attached to it and that's fine use your music how you'd like if you're someone like me who is an all or nothing person i am just better at not listening to music at all because when i listen to it i get too much dopamine and it just i just can't stop it it completely matters about what type of person you are how much enjoyment you get from music listen to more calming chilled music not got all these rappy lyrics or you know whatever in it that can keep you calm and this isn't going to cloud your judgment as much in life i hope this has helped please like subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one